Good morning. All righty, thank you. Welcome to the channel, everyone. Brian here. I've been a full-time reseller for over 20 years now. Join me as I go to yard sales for the day, looking for things to resell online for a profit, mostly through eBay. Stick around to the end of the video, and you'll get to see a breakdown and close-ups of everything I got. You'll get to see how much I think I'll sell it for, and hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Disney bracelets. I don't know what makes them Disney though. Nope. How much was jewelry? Okay. I'll pay you the dollar real quick. And okay, thank you. Thank you. Give me post if you got any questions. Alrighty. Yeah, we didn't know if you're open yet. Yeah, we figured uh, 8 o'clock would be a good start time, but then I forgot the cash to, to mess with, so I had to run back real quick. <laughs> Sadly, the prices on the tools here were quite a bit more than I would normally like to pay for these kind of tools. It was mostly Craftsman, which is pretty good stuff, but nothing so exciting that I could think I could make a good enough profit on. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> Ended up going through the front door anyway. Okay. He'd like all these car pictures. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, need one of these for the kids' stuff. Screws down here. Let's see if there's any jack screws. Nope. Yeah, that's neat. He'd like it. Mm -hmm. 
Mom? <laughs> you might want to look at these for Dave. Okay. That's all the stuff he likes. And some of these. There's some Corvette stuff. There's the Catherine Hep <laughs> Hepburn quote. I had a two dollar and a one dollar. Okay, three dollars it is. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think I bought it for for five over at half price because it was on sale because it was all tore up. So we'll do the same. How much on the cookbook? <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> it. It's a <laughs> It's a team effort. Man, there's a big aluminum ladder in there. Good morning. As you can see, this sale had a crazy variety of stuff, all priced super cheap. So you really had to do a deep dive into everything and turn over everything, take a look at everything, and see what you could find. There's some good little sleepers here that you wouldn't expect to find normally at a sale like this. Would you do two on the bird? You had three on it? I appreciate that. You care if I make a little pile or? Okay, perfect. Thank you. you're looking for your tape. Okay, and I'm looking for another roll too. Okay, I might find it. Thank you. You're welcome. Never mind. So, yeah, it's bigger. It's got more on it. Oh, okay. And I've lost it too. <laughs> Thank you, though. That's you're welcome. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'll add to my little 
pile here. symbols for. Yeah. Tiffany and Company. That's cute. For your... oh, thank you. <laughs> you found it for? Betty I Boop saw, over here. I saw the Hummel. It's a Gobel. Oh, these are cool. Found a few more goodies. One is 50 cents, a dollar, and... Oh, it's little buildings. Did you see that? That's what I was trying to figure. It looks like a rose, but also buildings, or... Yeah. I couldn't quite figure it out. Oh, my goodness.
little creamer Was it 10 cents for the bag or each? It was in the little 10 cents box. All right, perfect. Little fridge magnets, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm ready. I don't know, what's my total? Excuse me, mama. Alrighty. Make it six twenty-five. You need a quarter. If you got a quarter, I've already spent all mine. Oh, oh his allowance. <laughs> my yeah. allowance. Yeah, he doesn't get much. Nope. <laughs> She's stingy with my money. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it to myself. I know, yeah. Just okay, a quarter. Fix yeah. His quarter. Okay, there's his quarter. Then he is, let's make it okay. Dollar yeah. and a half or something. Dollar and a half. I can okay. put it in like a little bag. Was it both these bags? Yeah, yeah yours, okay. this was heavy. Yeah. All right, here I am with the haul and info about the stuff I bought today. It was a pretty slow going Memorial Day weekend, Saturday. Um, not many sales out. Most of them were other resellers, so I just deleted all that footage. Um, we had one more good sale after this one that ended up being... A whole video in itself just a big estate sale that wasn't advertised as such and i got there late and killing myself for what i might have missed but yeah it's the way it goes so the first sale that's in the video didn't find much i got a bike pump air pump for the kids for a buck i picked up this neat thing um golf oil advertising i think it's what what do they call those the lollipop style signage might be wrong though um, cast iron, pretty heavy. I'm gonna guess it's a reproduction. I can't really find many online like it. There's one similar for 20 bucks on eBay, and then none other. And I feel like if it was newer, though, there'd be a bunch of them. So maybe it's older. I don't know. I also got this book there for 50 cents. I usually don't buy cookbooks, but Tea Time at the Masters seemed unique enough to look up. And they sell for 10 to $15. Kind of a neat little book. And then we had one sale where everything was a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, that we um, stopped at probably around noon that day. I got these pair of Cardinals. Um, sell a brass. Paid two bucks. She was asking three. 
I figured just in case it wasn't worth much, it's worth two bucks in scrap. They sell for about 20, 25 bucks on eBay. I got this here. Looks like it's got some moisture in there, unfortunately. Hamilton. It's made in Hong Kong. It's got some age to it, probably from the 80s. Smoother than smooth. Joe Camel advertising desk clock. I think when I looked them up, they sell for 20 to 30 dollars. And when I'm out shopping, I'm usually not looking too much up unless something's just outside of my wheelhouse. Like if it's cheap like this, and I think it's cool, I just buy it. Like this old piece. Oh, I might have missed some damage right there. It's tough to tell. Hand blown. Um, polished on the bottom. Older piece of art glass. Milk glass with a blue overlay. For a buck, I thought I'd get it and look it up. Looks like a whimsy kind of piece that a factory worker would have made at the end of the day to take home. But, yeah, probably turn of the century for that piece. So for a buck, I'll grab it. A quarter on this. It sells for 10 to 20 bucks online. Pineapple. Solid brass. Welcome home sign. This was a shock when I got home. I thought it was neat. And I saw some markings on the bottom underneath this $1 tag. And I looked it up. And it's... Um, the artist is Sam Philippe. Jerusalem is the city. I'm guessing the title of this piece is 3000 and it was made in 1996 and what I did not see when I was there 925 sterling silver these sell for 30 to 50 bucks on eBay bigger ones will sell for um, a couple hundred dollars like they're probably this size so big monster chunk of silver I got this for a quarter it's kinda of tough to see but right there you can see the in that part right there a little sterling mark and then this set was 50 cents the chains nothing but I was really liking the the pendant here and the earrings they're not marked anything but I need to get that tested for silver it's making me think like you look up here at the top of the pendant and it's hand done up there and then these little earrings look like silver to me and then they attached it to some modern um, clip-ons and then this piece was shocking there 50 cents Tiffany and Company electric solid brass Swiss desk clock and then you can see that's the mark for DuPont and I have not tested it I have not found this exact style desk clock um, but my guess it's gonna be thirty dollars to three hundred I know it's such a wide range but I don't one I don't know if it works and two I don't know if this shape and then what the company logo is desirable at all and if you haven't seen it, there's a documentary on one of the DuPont airs about wrestling in the Olympics. It's it's pretty wild what this that crazy guy did. But oh, I forgot to fill these. These were ten cents. They were thrown in for free, and they sell for ten to thirty dollars for these vintage fruit magnets. If they were anthropomorphic, they'd sell for more. I almost forgot these TV trays too. They got a great 1960s look to them. Just a quarter each. No maker's marks that I can see, but I'd expect around Christmas to get in the $30 to $40 range for these. Alright, peace out, y'all. Like, subscribe, follow, whatever you want to do. Later.